Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, it's a rainy day. You know, I want to talk about something I seen on the internet. And uh, it's very interesting because I think things are starting to change slowly. And uh, before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like the content, hit the thumbs down. You know what it is, man. Hey, and if you want to donate, the link is in the description. All right, so I'm going to play this video. And then I'll come back and give you my tip. I invested a lot of money into buying this building, into developing this concept so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves as a... Come on! Stop the music, please! Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yes. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to Prime, take it to Pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I'm on men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it, no, don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. And don't do it again. Thank you. All right, man. So listen. All right, man. So apparently there were some black girls twerking in a restaurant. And the owner of that restaurant said that he has a respectable establishment. And he's not going to be going for any of that. And uh, I seen people in the comments on this video upset at the owner. Said that that's not how owners are supposed to conduct themselves. Mm. And uh, that's not what they supposed to do. And he shouldn't be cursing. And if he has a respectable establishment, how he telling people what they shouldn't and shouldn't do and all this stuff. And I've seen this stuff and I said to myself, this is exactly what I be talking about when it come to women. Just say when you're wrong, man. These girls was wrong. Whether they black, whether they white, whether whatever color they are, it doesn't matter. They were wrong. They were wrong for that. And that man applaud that man. We got to applaud that man. You know why? Because that man is a real man. He stood up and said, I'm not going to be having this in my establishment. This is not what I want. Y'all culture can go to these other restaurants with all this stuff that y'all do twerking and acting a fool and doing all this. This is a respectable establishment. You have to respect my establishment. And people are mad at this man for calling these girls out. More people should do this. Especially with these young girls that are doing all this stuff as if they can do anything, anywhere, anytime they want. People should call this out. I'm so happy that this happened. I'm proud that this man stood up and said, no, nah, we're not going to be doing this. And I, I totally believe that this should be going on in a lot of establishments, whether black, whether white, whether Chinese, whatever. You should be saying this to these people who are respecting your status because a lot of these people out here, a lot of these young women out here and a lot of these young men out here, they believe that they can do and say whatever they want because we live in the age of entitlement. Everybody, these young kids and these young people believe that they're entitled to everything and nothing will happen to them. You can do, I can do whatever I want to do because this is how I feel. I feel this way and this is what I want to do. And there's nothing you can say or do to me because I feel this way. I don't care if it's your restaurant. I feel like I want to twerk here. So this is why I want to twerk. I'm going to set up and twerk here. And ain't nothing you or anybody can do about it because... I want to do it. It's mine. This is the type of behavior that we got to deal with. And I'm so proud of this man who stood up and said, nah, 
Y'all not gonna be doing that in here. I made this for my people, for respectable establishment. We need more people like this because a lot of people gotta understand. A lot of people gotta understand. When you have people who respect how black people should move, you got to have more people that support that. Because a lot of us black, young black people out here, we are lost. We don't know where, which way to go. You need people like that. And even indirectly, he could be a role model to somebody. Indirectly. He's not, I'm not saying this man is going to change the world, but indirectly, he's a role model because now, Tens of thousands, a hundred of thousands of people are going to see this video and they're going to say, that's how I feel. And you're going to get more people who are going to say, you can't do that in here. You ain't going, y'all don't go up the street to these other restaurants and do all this. And let's just be clear. A lot of y'all girls, black girl, white girl, whatever. When y'all go to a, 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 a upstanding white restaurant, not no Olive Garden, even not even, even the Olive Garden, not the Olive Garden, not the uh, Red Lobster, none of that. Y'all don't go in there twerking. So why is it that when you go into a black establishment, a man who worked hard for something, you got to do something out of pocket? That's what I'm saying. So my point is, I'm happy that this man did that because you got to look at how it's going to affect a lot of people. Now, he's going to stand out from all the restaurants. You know what might happen? Everybody might come to his restaurant now because you got a lot of people who don't want to deal with that bullshit. They don't want to deal with that. So guess where they're going to go? Up the street to that restaurant where that man said, this is an establishment for my people, a respectable establishment. Respect my establishment. You're going to get a lot of people who are going to love that. And they're going to say, you know what? I know ain't no bullshit going on down there. So let me go down there. Let me go down there. And we need more people standing out talking about this and calling these young people out on the things that they do. Because the only way these young people are going to learn or believe that they don't have this sense of entitlement is if you strip them away from them and tell them, like, listen, you can't do that here. You can't do that here. You could do that anywhere else or wherever you what else you think you believe you could do that, but you can't do it here. And you know what's going to happen? A lot of restaurants going to follow suit or a lot of businesses going to be like, nah, you can't do that here. You can't do that here. You can't do that here. You do that in the privacy of your home or you do that with your friends on your time, but you can't do it here. You can't. It's like going to a restaurant, smoking weed inside of the restaurant and you can't smoke in there. It's like going there smoking cigarettes and then you can't smoke in there. Why can't I smoke in here? Because you can't. This is his rules. That's it. So all y'all that's getting mad in the comments and all, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe that that man was cursing. I can't believe that them girls were shaking their ass in front of people who just trying to eat their food. You're shaking your ass in front of people eating their food. Your ass. Come on, man. Y'all got to start being serious because I believe that a lot of y'all out here, y'all just want to go against everything. Y'all want to go against it. Even if y'all know the people are wrong, y'all just want to stand on the side so y'all can say that y'all going against something. Y'all just want to be little rebels. Like, why? If these girls are wrong or whoever it was, if they're wrong, then just call them out on it. Yo, y'all was wrong. It's a prime and a place for everything. And why y'all doing that there? I don't understand it. I don't. But it is what it is, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe today. Hey, listen. I'm just going to say this. You got to respect people's establishments. You got to respect people's homes. You got to respect people, period. If that man put all that blood, sweat, and tears, it's all his hard work, earnings, or whatever he had to do to get where he at, respect that man business. And don't be out here doing no goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the problem. The problem is a lot of y'all be out here doing a lot of goofy stuff and y'all think people supposed to expect or, or just accept that. You're supposed to accept you doing the goofy shit. Like, no, we don't accept you doing goofy stuff. We don't. Grow up.
A lot of y'all girls be like 28, 29 years old, still Snapchat and twerking. And got three kids home. Come on, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page.